Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. I'm your host, FD465.TV, for and today we are continuing with our Token Unlock series, where we are sharing with you guys ideas on how to walk away with most of the profit you make within the space on some of your favorite projects. Here I'm talking of your layer zero, Pit Network, Wemo, Celestia, Moonbeam Network, Axla, Arbitrum, and Avalanche. Projects are all hold within my different portfolios. And that aside, we are all on the lookout for the next best thing, that shiny thing in crypto, and to be fair, there are so many of these, but not all are what they seem or promise to be. For the few that have something on offer, investing at the right time, if you are a retail like myself, is going to bring some greater reward, but we also need to be aware of the un token unlocks. The ones I'm going to cover in this video have some serious value propositions, but they also come with some price impacting token unlocks for the project team, so-called foundations, contributors, and seed investors. And today we are going to be focusing on layer zero. But before I jump into layer zero, guys, this is not financial advice. These are just my own opinion and what I intend to do with my holdings of the Zeta Auto token because I'm a holder of that. And if you watch our channel, you know I do hold layer zero with high regard and I am going to be reinforcing that message within this video as well. It's just a good project full stop. It is what it is. I'm not trying to pump it. I'm not that big to pump layer zero. I can tell you that. Anyway, but before I jump into it, guys, I'm not a financial advisor. Please do your own research. Those from the UK, this video is not intended for you. Please do not watch this video. If you are from the rest of the world, let's jump into layer zero and the potential unlocks that could impact the profits you are going to walk away with come the top of this current cycle, which I think will happen Q2 of 2025. It could happen before or after. It's possible. I don't have a magic wand, but our target so far is Q2 2025. So layer zero, what is layer zero? Layer zero is a cross-chain messaging protocol designed to facilitate seamless communication between different blockchain networks. It allows decentralized applications or dApps to work across various blockchain platforms, enabling interoperability in a decentralized and trust minimized way. Layer Zero's primary goal is to bridge the gap between isolated blockchain ecosystems, making it easier for developers to build decentralized apps that interact with multiple blockchain. Token unlocks for Layer Zero that we are going to be talking about. Layer Zero has got a token unlock schedule and vesting plan that is crucial for investors considering its long-term potential. And we are going to give you a breakdown of those details and an analysis of how to maximize your returns if you are like me, retail investor. So the tokenomics and the unlock schedule total supply for layer zero it is a maximum supply of 1 billion tokens that i love that very much because if you look at the competitors you got way more is 10 billion maximum supply axla no maximum cap so layer zero is so far in the driving seat if you ask me and just for that got a good tick from me but as of now approximately 25 percent of tokens are already unlocked meaning 250 million tokens are in circulation or available to be introduced into circulation because at the moment i think it's about 11 percent it's not really 25 percent but the others are available to add it to circulation because they are already unlocked okay so as you can tell from this graphic that we are looking at here it is mud community which dates back to the various airdrop when the zeta hour token was launched that's when the 250 million tokens were unlocked for the community i think it's got something maybe taking of some incentive of some sort so the unlock plan for layer zero in the zeta hour token the tokens are allocated primarily across four categories so i got 250 million zeta hour tokens or 25 percent of the supply allocated for the community strategic partners 322 million zeta hour tokens or 32.2 percent of supply hmm. they value their strategic partners than their community interesting core contributors 255 million zeta hour tokens or 25.5 percent tokens repurchased 40 million zeta hour tokens or four percent of supply because i think the foundation will be rebuying some of these tokens with whatever profits they make the remaining tokens will continue to unlock in a linear fashion until 2025 with no large cliffs expected. So what is the market impact of all this? Well, the unlock schedule suggests a steady increase in circulating supply through to Q2 of 2025. Remember that 250 million Zeta Auto tokens community allocation we talked about. The gradual unlock reduces the risk of sudden supply shocks, which can lead to price volatility. Investors should keep an eye on the core contributors unlocks as any large sell-offs from internal team members could depress prices. Watch out for mid-June 2025. That's when we are expecting expecting to see huge increases in unlocks. So that kind of coincides with our Q2 of 2025. So you may want to play it safe. Then. But if you are like me, I do like layer zero very much. Even if I exit at the top of the current bull run or somewhere near the top, I am going to re-enter when we enter a bear market, which is most certainly going to come at some point. It won't all be going up forever. So future price prediction for the Zeta Auto token. Some analysts project the price of the Zeta Auto to increase significantly, potentially rising by over 200 
percent by the end of this year 2024 and continuing upwards into 2025 by between four to six hundred percent or five to six x however there are factors like microeconomic conditions and layer zeros continued adoption within the blockchain space that will heavily influence this so as an investor myself say i want to look at long-term holding given the steady unlock schedule and optimistic price prediction a long-term holding strategy may be ideal especially if layer zero continues to see increased adoption in decentralized finance or DeFi and cross-chain application but then again in a bear market it's always going to go down to establish a new law so maybe that's the time to rebuild that portfolio again if you got faith in layer zero i will not be holding through a bear market i will come out and then go back in later on when prices are right at the bottom but then if you're a swing trader monitoring key unlock dates may be the thing to do investors should watch for any significant unlock dates particularly from strategic partners and core contributors as this could introduce volatility buying before major unlocks and selling before expected sell-offs could be a strategy used by those who do short-term trading or swing trading so i would watch out from mid-june 2025 that's when we are going to see some huge increases in unlocks so for investors aiming to maximize returns a long-term hold is likely the safest bet given layer zero's growth trajectory and manageable unlock schedule but if you are like me you will go out and come back in a bear market however being mindful of short-term volatility especially around key unlock events this will help in optimizing short-term gains so talking of weeks a few months and stuff but if you are playing this cycle to cycle like i'm trying to do with most of these altcoins best time to get them or accumulate them is during a bear market just like with any asset in a bear market basement prices for these assets and in a bull market of course you don't accumulate in a bull market anyway guys let us know your thoughts as far as layer zero is concerned are you holding layer zero i do and we also have a video on layer zero that you should watch where we share our thoughts on what layer zero is and what i think it's going to deliver come the top of the current cycle until the next one guys this is fd for 65.tv signing off for now bye